On November 18th, a rash of tornadoes hit areas of Illinois, destroying homes and businesses. Next, from Gifford, Illinois, Governor Quinn is joined by Senator Mike Frerichs and Representative Chad Hayes as they examine the storm damage and discuss help from the state and local organizations. This runs about 10 minutes. Just took a brief look at the severe damage that's occurred here in Gifford and Champaign County. I declared it a state disaster uh, area and county this morning, along with six other counties in Illinois. I've already been to Washington, Illinois, and to Coal City and Diamond, and I'm going on to uh, Brookport and then to uh, New Minden. We had five different places in Illinois yesterday that were touched by very severe uh, tornadoes. In the history of our state, since weather was, uh, I guess, uh, recorded, uh, we've had 191 tornado uh, warnings in the month of November. Uh, 191 total in the history of the state, and 101 of those occurred yesterday. This is very, very severe. Uh, I think it's uh, imperative that all of us thank our first responders. Uh, they've worked to the point of exhaustion to help their neighbors out. It's so inspiring just to go through town here to see so many people out trying to help and volunteer. Uh, that's really what Illinois is. The heart of Illinois is the heart of a volunteer. And it is important that we come together as a family, whatever your politics, whatever you, wherever you live, we're all in this together. We are uh, a family in this state, a big family of 13 million people. And I want to thank uh, State Senator Mike Frerichs, who grew up here, his parents live here. Uh, he understands firsthand how important it is that we come together and rebuild. Um, that's really what our state is all about. We never, ever give up. Uh, I want to thank Senator uh, Chapin Rose for joining us and Representative Adam Brown and Representative Chad uh, Hayes and uh, all of those who are involved in our state government. We have an Illinois Emergency Management Agency that's been working with our local folks here. And I want to thank the county and uh, the city as well uh, for everybody working together. Now, uh, the reason I want to really stress today uh, rebuilding and recovery is uh, uh, we need to make sure that everyone who has suffered damage here, any kind of damage, do their very best in this traumatic time to assess that damage, to estimate what they've lost. It's real, really important because after dis declaring the uh, disaster county here, uh, we have to then assess the damage in order to uh, request federal disaster relief. Uh, the more specifics we have, the better. It's also very, very important for our insurance companies uh, to uh, write to the uh, seed uh, and to make sure that they uh, fulfill their policies. So we want anyone who has suffered damage if they have insurance to definitely request that because many insurance policies include temporary housing. Some folks won't have a place to live and uh, we want to make sure we have shelter for everyone as quickly as possible. It's a permanent shelter, at least until they can get their home rebuilt. It's also important, as I just mentioned, that in rebuilding, we uh, I signed a law earlier this year that uh, does not involve any kind of increase in taxes on a new structure. Uh, we want people to rebuild and to come together. And uh, Gifford is a strong town, and it has great, strong uh, community feeling. And we want this town to come back stronger than ever. That's what Illinois is all about, and I think it's important to bring forward someone who knows this town like the back of his hand, and that's our state senator, Mike Ferricks. Mike, why don't you come forward and say a few words? Okay, buddy. Uh, all I want to say is I want to say uh, a sincere thank you to everyone who has come out to help out their neighbors. Uh, this is a strong town, but it is a town that looks very different than the one I grew up in, and it's going to take a while before you build this, and all the first responders, the volunteers, the friends and neighbors who have helped out their neighbors really means a lot to me. Uh, there are parts of this town that have been not as badly affected and it's nice to see those people coming out and spending their time helping out people who are in the line of the path of today. Thank you. Well said. Okay, Mayor, we'd like to have a few words from, from our Mayor. Come on forward, Dan Ackerman, and uh, just tell us a lot about the spirit of uh, the people of Gifford, how inspiring that is to everyone in Illinois. Yeah, you know, number one, we got to be thankful 
nobody lost their life. And everybody's working together, it's super. And we're gonna be back online sooner than anybody thinks. Thanks. Okay, thank you. You know, I think that's important because we lost six people yesterday, six good people who lost their lives to the tornadoes that occurred in their towns. And we ask God to bless their immortal souls. And it, it is so important that we have warnings. Uh, many, many people's lives were saved because of the warnings that came and folks got to shelter and got to safety. And so uh, I am very happy that here in Gifford, no one lost their life. We had great uh, property damage. Why don't you come forward and talk about our county? I Thank think you. it's important that we hear from that as well. Hi, uh, Al Kurtz, Chair of the County Board. Uh, I worked this morning with the Regional Planning Commission who will donate their time to help re-engineer, replan, and to set up small loans uh, at very, very low interest rates as well. I'm working with the assessor's office. Uh, we're going to uh, abate taxes on any damaged or uh, destroyed homes until they can rebuild. And also, we're going to uh, bypass uh, a lot of red tape by uh, allowing them to rebuild without having to go through the permitting uh, at this point. Uh, we, we want to have the community come together and the rebuilding process start immediately. And again, I want to thank, uh, about a couple of months ago, we had a major drill just in case that something like this would take place. So who would have thought that it would have happened so soon? But because of that, we were monitoring this storm at 7 a.m. before it hit Champaign County, and we were ready to go at the minute that we got the reports that the disaster here took place. And we had uh, first responders here almost immediately after uh, after the storm, and we're, we, we pray that uh, uh, the, the lack of loss of life is just sort of a miracle when you look at the devastation here and uh, the small amount of injuries. So rebuilding is going to be the future, and uh, Gifford will be back, and will be better than ever. Thank you. Okay, well said. And uh, I think it is important to acknowledge the great work of our local law enforcement, and Sheriff Dan Walsh is here, and all those who are first responders, we really are grateful to them for their great effort. I think it is also important, I think uh, Chad Hayes, Representative Hayes, has this in your district. Do you, Chad? I'll just say a few words as well. Governor, thank you for being here. And, and I, I just want to thank the mayor and, and the folks here. I had the chance to be here probably a half an hour or 45 minutes after the storm came through. And I have to tell you, the, the county folks have done a, an amazing job. IEMA, uh, the local fire department, uh, folks for here from Loda and St. Joe and Rantoul and the folks here in Gifford. And frankly, there were probably more people here than could even be put to work immediately in the aftermath. And, and, and I think the governor said it, and, and I know the mayor feels this way. The mayor's had uh, damage to his own personal property. Uh, what you're going to see in Gifford, Illinois, is a triumph of the human spirit. And and that will happen without question. That is 100% certain. And I thank all of the people here for what you're doing. And, and Champaign County, uh, District 104, and the, and the state of Illinois are going to be with you every step of the way. And please do not hesitate to call any of our offices if we can assist in moving this forward. Thank you. Okay, well said. I think I uh, speak for our state representatives and senators. Uh, we have to put all the resources of state government behind the recovery effort in every part of our state, including here in Gifford. Our Illinois Department of Transportation has removed tons of debris statewide. Our state police have uh, worked with local law enforcement, and every agency of state government has to be mobilized. So if you have any questions, we'll be glad to answer them. So far, Mr. Governor, you have declared seven counties um, as assessors at seven? Uh, seven so far. I. I think from what we've learned more today, there'll probably be an additional announcement tomorrow about other counties I in the state. Local authorities about, I understand water is going to take two weeks to restore water and electricity. Can you talk about how soon, they're worried about kids going, being able to go back to school. How soon do you think it's going to take for residents to try to have some sense of normalcy? Well, it's very important at this time that we understand that we all have to work together. Uh, you know, that kind of uh, spirit is very, very important. Uh, anytime you have a natural disaster, it can be heartbreaking when people see their life's investment. Their home is their life's investment for most everybody. Uh, when you see that obliterated in a few minutes or seconds by a, a tornado, it takes a lot, it's traumatic for everyone. So we want to make sure that spirits of the people are strong because there is insurance, 
We're going to be filing for federal disaster relief. We've got to do this together in a coordinated way in order to do it right. Now, with respect to utilities, whether it be electric or water, we want to make sure that everything is safe. We've been working with Ameren and with Commonwealth Edison elsewhere uh, to make sure that happens. And if there are any safety questions, we want our local and state folks to make sure that people uh, know that there are answers they need to know in order to be uh, safe and sound. You're watching the Illinois Channel.